Each Lego commercial bus to pay 292,000 naira as annually aside Agbaru charges. Welcome to the news and please subscribe to our channel. The Lagos State Government has signed an agreement for the collection of what is called Consolidated Informal Sector Transport Levy, designed to harmonize dues collected by government from commercial motorists as parks and garages. The agreement was signed between the state government, local government, various transport union, and some government agencies. Why have these people decided to make life unbearable for people? Why? Okay, as they are collecting this now, what are they using this money for? It is high time we start holding these people accountable. Saying they'll start paying. Do you know what it means? If you don't know what it means, let me tell you. It means these drivers now are going to be paying more. And at the end of the day, the masses that do not have car of their own or that will be using commercial buses, they're actually going to be paying more in terms of transport. This is aside the... The subsidy they are going to be removing. Why do they want people to gnash that? What is really their problem? Are they planning to wreck everyone so that they are going to actually be giving people crumbs come to into the free? Because I am not understanding. How do you want those people to survive? The economy is already harsh at its seams. And all the policies you see these people making never ever have I seen in the history of Nigeria that they make a particular policy that is going to better the masses. I have not seen, I have not heard. You either hear policies that will keep extorting people or you hear the policies that will keep impoverishing people on a daily basis. When they do this, these people are not, um, look, at the end of the day, they are going to, it is not just the drivers. Now, the drivers get their money from where? The, the, the masses, right? At the end of the day, the masses will bear it. The real load will be on the masses because uh, if they are increasing it, definitely I'm going to increase my money. And because it is going to, it's a state thing, before you know it, the negotiations now involve, I mean, the pass, packs in Lagos states now, all of them are going to increase their, their fares and whatever. It is going to be general. Before you know, people will be forced to pay. Before you know it, now, let me explain to you. Somebody that is earning a total of, let's say, 30,000 naira, and I said, okay, 10,000 naira is going to be my transfer fare because transport fare in Lagos is actually something else. Now, let's say you have planned, and that is how you have been managing yourself. Now, you will now still need to reshovel it because it might skyrocket to twelve or 15,000. Now, that extra 5,000 you were using to solve another problem, they have taken it away from you. Like I'm still understanding, I'm still trying to understand and wrap my head how we get people who are so heartless and do not have the interests of Nigerians or Nigeria at heart. How did we get them in government? The money they're extorting from people is not enough. People pay via toll gate. People will pay. The, I don't even know. The police people will pay. What is going on? At the end of the day, they want you to vote for them. Oh, at the end of the day, they will even want you to vote for a former governor of Lagos at the president of Nigeria. Your suffering will multiply. Uh, your suffering will, you will pay from your tooth. Hmm. Let's find out about this. The news in detail. Please stay with us. According to the Commissioner of Finance, Dr. Rabi Olowo, the levy pegged at a flat rate of 800 naira covers money for the local government, clearing of waste from the motor parks, which was being paid to the motor, which was being paid to the Lagos State Waste Management Agency, LOMA, and pollution dues, which were collected by Lagos State Environmental Protection Agency, LASEPA, among others. According to a low personal income taxes of a driver will also be deducted from the 800 naira levy, which commences with immediate effect. With this harmonized levy, each commercial bus driver is expected to pay 800 naira daily, which accumulates into 24,000 naira monthly and 2,902,000 in a year. Though the harmonized levy introduced by the government does not affect tickets issued by the National Union of Road Transport Workers, NURTW, Chairman of the Lagos State Chapter for NURTW, Alaji Musili Akinsanya, popularly known as MC Uluwamo, explained that the union, in collaboration with the Road Transport Workers Union, RTEAN, had approached the state's government to consolidate the fees 
collected by different local government areas and agencies to make the collection easier for government. He clarified that a new development affects only government levies but has nothing to do with the union's dues charged. The special advisor to the governor on transportation, Mr. Tony Fuenca, stated that the development is a phase one approach towards total restructuring of the transport sector, saying it's expected to bring sanity to motor parks and aligned with best practices globally. The Finance Commission admitted that the bulk of money collected as levers before known now are lost to known unknown agents. Her disclosure research has shown that an average commercial boss pays at least 3,000 naira as due per day while some bosses pay as high as 8,000 to 9,000 naira. While he described the new development as a form of revenue assurance, he assured that it will have a strong application on reduction of labor speed by bus drivers at different parks points before now. He also said that it will drastically reduce the suffering of the people and is expected to reduce the cost of road transportation. Hmm. I don't get it. I don't get. You're running a government that is adding hardship to the burden of a downtrodden each day of your life. God will put all of you in this mess into questions and even your children. What is going on? What is happening? If the policies are right and implemented, Lagos will be a better place to see. If it was Babatunde Fashola, I believe he's a master of policy enforcer. If the money being connected will be used to improve the transport system, well and good. This is not fair to Lagosians. I don't want to even start imagining how difficult it would be. We are talking about... We are talking about how difficult this year is already, already is. We are talking about how they are going to be removing subsidy on petrol and how people are going to be survive, surviving. And then people like this are making life a living hell. God will help all of us. Even your son will come from abroad and come and drive down for your wife will drive it. Even your father. <laughs> oh my God. It's very painful. It is. Need to further impoverish the masses. Exactly what I'm saying. All levels will be passed down to the passenger and there will be no, there will be more hardship. How did Nigeria get to this state? The same question I'm asking. And they are clamoring for his godfather to become the president. Watch out. You'll be paying more than this if you allow it to happen. I did, you don't say I did not warn you. Don't say you did not receive the warning or you did not know. Okay. Okay, on this note, we have come to the end of the news. We say thank you for tuning in to listen. Until I come your way next time, enjoy the rest of the day.